Example two, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, and I are necessary to establish a garden. The directed graph of these activities and then the time in hours for each activity is shown above. A, what is the critical path for this project? So to do this, I'd highly recommend uh, going and uh, uh, putting in the forward and backward scanning that you might need to do. Uh, I assume by this stage, if you watch this video, that you have seen it being done in all the previous ones. So I'm just going to do this very quickly. So I've done my forwards and backwards scanning. I can see that it will take 33 hours. And so the critical path will be the ones with the latest, uh, latest starting time and the earliest starting time being the same value. And so therefore, this is our critical path, A to C to D to I. C. If the usual person who completes activity F is sick and her replacement takes five hours longer to complete this activity, what effect will this have on the completion time of the project? Well, F is currently, as we can see, there's activity F. F is currently equal to nine. So therefore, the new F will be equal to nine plus five, which is 14. So therefore, where that box ends, so there's F, where that box ends, currently it says 25. So the choices will be seven or uh, 15 or uh, 25, or in this case, instead of 24, as it was with that, this would be uh, 15 plus 14, which is 29. So what it would do is it would increase the total time by four hours so therefore it would be finished in 37 hours. The reason I got the four hours was that 25 plus four gets me 29. D, if the replacement person for activity F is more efficient and completes the activity in six hours, what effect will this have on the completion time of the project? So the initial one for F was nine. So therefore the new F would be nine, take a, uh, it will be six. It's not six less hours, it's six. So therefore, F goes into this box. So the choices are seven or 15 or 25 or uh, 15 plus six, and 15 plus six is 21. So what that means is that the largest number is still 25, therefore no change. As it does not, affect the critical path. E, due to a reshuffle of staff, task G is now also being done by the person who does task F. The person doing task C has been asked to also complete task E. Given that the amount of time that it takes to complete this activity is now the same as per the initial diagram, how long will establishing the garden take now? So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to redraw the just that sort of that middle section of the uh, of the network and show what will be changing so that was just that middle section of the network and what i'm going to do is i'm going to redraw it slightly so it says there that the activity g is being done by the person who does activity f so in other words the predecessor to f Will have to be G. So I'm going to bend it out of the network. It also says there that the person to doing task C is, uh, has been asked to also complete task E. So in other words, the predecessor to E has to also be C. Now you might notice there that if I bend C up to attach to E, I will now get a parallel uh, edge, which we can't have. So what we're going to do is put a dummy in here.
So now that we have rewritten this, we can now go and calculate the new times. So I'll just pause my working just to show you that for a part B or for activity B, we have the choice of either going five plus six, which is 11, or we ha uh, can go via the dummy activity or C, because that was going to be 13. And we always pick what was uh, the, that activity is as slow, it's the slowest predecessor or whatever is the biggest number. So that has to now be 13. So we now reach to this point, we've got 17 plus 9 is 26, or we can go back to that 13 plus 12 is 25, it is 26. So therefore, 26 plus 8 is 34. So the new completion time is 34 hours.